Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome to episode 54. Oh, I almost said 53. That was last week. Welcome to episode 54. Uh, my name is Pat Mayer. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Akron, Ohio. And if you are here, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up or comment or whatever. Um, and I was away last week and did do a YouTube live that I posted on to sh go see on Facebook. So I don't know if you got a chance to see it. Um, hold on a minute here. It says I have a bad connection right now. So let's see if I can get it back to blue. There we go. Um, so let me know if uh, I'm start to cut out a little bit. So anyway, last week I did um, a pre-recorded YouTube video. That was my first strictly on YouTube. And um, I made some of these cute little bags. This is a smaller one. I'll show you in a minute. Made out of designer paper because we're getting ready for that gift giving season. So there's this one. Here's another one that I showed last week. And this one I did put holes in it, so you've got a nice little handle bag. So if you want to see how these are made, you can check on YouTube, episode 53. Yes, that's correct. And then this is a smaller one made out of a six by six, two pieces of six by six. So they're so much fun, so easy to make, and that way you can use up your, your paper. So that's that. And hi Sue, hi Gloria, welcome. So what am I going to do today? I'm not jumping into Christmas right this moment, maybe next week. This is a stamp set that I have kind of put off, but I've wanted to show for quite a while. It's in the mini catalog on page five. And hi, Fran, you found me today, good. Um, it's the Make a Difference stamp set, and it's um, $20, and it's called Strong of Heart. And every year, Stampin' Up, I, th I think it might be twice a year, I'm, I think. Um, they have a Make a Difference Day um, for a community effort. And this one, a uh, portion of the sales goes to Heart Health. And regardless of the time of year, we all need hearts. And this stamp set is um, to give strength and comfort encouragement and inspiration and there's always somebody who needs that no matter what time of year so um, I'll show you lots of samples that I have been playing around with for the last couple of days um, I did have a good trip got to see that new baby and oh my goodness that was so much fun he is absolutely adorable adorable so um, Let's put this away. And the next thing I want to tell you about is a promotion that is going on right now. Should you ever want to consider being a happy shopper by joining the Stampin' Up! family, um, you don't need to sell to anybody but yourself and take advantage of the 20% discount. And through the end of November, that offer is $75. It's normally $99 plus tax. The shipping is free. And that's a big savings right there too. But right now it's $75. And then you, you always get to choose $125 worth of product. And that could be anything from this catalog or of course the annual catalog and $75 plus tax. That is a great deal to get $125. So that's 
$50 more free. But anyway, um, should you be interested, you can um, sign up there at patmayer.stampinup.net or reach out to me and ask questions. And no pressure, just something to offer right now. All right, let's stamp. Um, the first one that I'm going to do is very, very simple. You know, I love simple and easy. Just using some basic white cardstock, some of our uh, current in color designer paper from six by six um, packets and a piece of basic black. So this stamp set has some wonderful sentiments in it and through struggle comes strength stronger than you know you amaze me and here for you and then i've also on a couple of the other samples that i've done have brought in um, this great stamp set called best year and it coordinates with um i don't mean coordinate so much as we've got a thank you and birthday hip hip hooray you did it there's even a christmas one here Hello, hey, the thank you goes with very thoughtful. It's, it's a great um, all occasion stamp set. And I have that on some of my samples. So let's get going. And this is a cling stamp set, not photopolymer. And I'm going to start by stamping with a memento black because I'm going to use the uh, Stampin' Blends to do some coloring. So we want the memento and kind of stamping upside down on that. And this pop out part here in the center is just, I believe, so you can see when this stamp gets stamped and it helps you align it a little bit better. Um, it also eliminates the opportunity to get ink where you don't really want it. So, let's see if I can do this straight. So, I hope you are enjoying this beautiful weather. Wow. We are lucky to have all of this sunshine and the last I looked it was 66. Seven, I think or 64 so I'm hoping to get outside a little bit when I'm done here today okay so there's our nice heart and I'm going to use polished pink blends and light granny apple green so let's pull that off these always go on very heavy or hard um, to protect the alcohol from drying out. So I'm going to start by coloring in with the light one. Okay. And then I will add some highlights with the dark. There we go on these uh, four little flowers. All right, almost picked up Flirty Flamingo by mistake. That would not have been good. And I'm using the, the bullet end or uh, pointed end of this because these are small images. And adding the dark around the edge. There we go. A little granny apple green because that looks very good with this P 
pink. All right. So there, you realize that the, the alcohol markers do bleed through, so you will always want to do um, alcohol markers on a piece that is going to get mounted onto something else. So I'm gonna mount that on the basic black. And just stamp this light font with, I like the font of this. It's very delicate and through struggle comes strength. Nobody likes to struggle, but it's, it's good to hear an encouraging word every now and then too. Okay, so that's going to go right in the middle here. All right, so there we go. Let's add some adhesive. Let's see, I'll use the, the liquid glue on this. Can't believe it's November. What is today's the eighth? And I think somebody said that what, Thanksgiving is 18 days away. Goodness sakes. All right, the size of this, I forgot to tell you that at the beginning. Uh, the basic white is three and a half square, and the black is three and five eighths square. And I'm just going to put that on a piece of basic white that is 11. Yeah, that's 11 by four, four and a half. So it's a top fold card. And I have a piece of um, the polished pink that is one, uh, excuse me, two and a quarter by five and a half to go on the front. I'm going to go right up to the edge on that, I think. And then add dimensionals to pop this up a little bit. I always like to add a dimensional into the center so it doesn't, the panel that um, I'm popping up doesn't collapse. So it's always good to use those dimensionals. Can never use too many or can never have too many. Okay, so let's add that up there. And then I've taken a bow with about six, this is a little bit too short, I think, about 16 inches of the white twine from the twine pack and add that little bow here. Um, let's use a glue dot for that. Just put that here on the, the corner edge. 
Okay, I'm never real good at tying bows on on my live, so I'm just gonna put that on there. It's not the best, but it looks good. And then add some, thanks, Nancy. Hi, thank you for the welcome home. Seems like I was gone a long time, and I wasn't really gone that long, but I did leave in October and came back in November, so. But it was good. And let's add some of these um, matte black dots. And let's put one here and put a bigger one. I never, I always seem to use the little ones and not the big ones, so I guess I better use a big one. So put that up here. Eh, let's put it over here. That looks better. So that's, that's that. Very simple, easy. Somebody would love to get that with a nice sentiment on the inside if you want it to write something nice. Okay, next I want to show you about this stamp. Um, now this is designed actually to go inside the center of this one and I found if you stamp this first you can line it up very easily because you've got that hole in the center here that part that pops out but I'm going to do this sample with just this squiggly heart and this is going to be simple I'm going to use Coastal Cabana decided to use a color that I don't usually pick up, but I used it for something else that I'll show you in one of the samples that I made. So this, uh, let's see, make sure I pick the right one here. Okay, this is, this is four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna stamp a darker full strength one in the center. grab scrap paper here because I'm going to stamp off for the other ones and I didn't really get a good image up here so I'm going to turn it over and try again Ah, much better. I got a few lines there, but uh, I don't think that's going to show with the way I'm going to do the rest of the card. So now I'm going to stamp off on some scrap paper and add images around that dark one in the center. Just always have to remember to stamp off. Now I'm going to flip this over so the next ones will come from the bottom. And they'll overlap a little bit, but that's okay. All right, I'm not real thrilled with that. It did get some lines on there. Um, 
Okay, I'm going to go back over to this other side, even though that is not the best up there, but I don't like the lines. So it happens. Let's try a little bit different way of going around the edge here. This is definitely like stamping on the fly because it didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted it to. And one more little one here. Okay. And then I pulled out the Happy Birthday to You from the Best Year set that I showed you earlier. And let's see, here's the memento again. And here's a technique I've not shown for a while, and it's tearing. Just, you get a different look. You want to pull on your paper and just tear toward you. And it gives you a little bit more dimension. And then I can, boy, I smeared that with my fingers. I've got inky fingers today. Um, add that there and I'm going to add some gold cording and just add some of this to the back of that layer And if I add that with a glue dot, it should hold it down. And that will also add some more dimension to the card. go okay that is not the best it's smeared a little bit so let's see here um Oh, that's not going to work. All right. <laughs> not the best today. So let's just add that to the card base. There, pull that up. Maybe the gold will, will take care of that. <clears throat> And get the glue. 
Okay, I think the samples that I made actually look better than this, so. Um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, occasionally that memento ink um, does not dry as quickly, and I think my fingers are a little on the inky side right now anyway. So that did smear. I would probably pull that off and redo it before I would send that off. But that's the card for that, and this is the other one for today. So let me show you the samples. I think you'll like the samples a whole lot better. Because I did have a lot of fun playing with this. And um, hope you like what I can show you now. Okay, this, is, this was my prototype that I started with with this one. And I used also one of the end colors, the Soft Succulent. So I really like, like that one. And actually my bow turned out a little bit better too. Thanks, Nancy. Um, here is another one using the heart in the center. And then the sentiment here on the side. Again, this was uh, the polished pink. A little bit of silver behind with a black accent. Here's one with um, a little fun fold where I folded it in the center and then folded it back with some designer paper here and then one of the hearts that I fussy cut around and that could go in there and then you can put your sentiment and write a little bit under the heart there. There's that. This was one, these next two, I really like. Um, I stamped with um, Pacific Point and So Saffron up at the top of the, of the heart and then filled in with a sponge dauber uh, with the Coastal Cabana. That's why I had that one sitting out. Um, and then I was looking for some birds. For some reason, that whole sketchy little heart looked like um, a sunset, or it could be a sunset. So there's our sun. We've got a little bit of blue and a little bit darker blue down here for the ocean. And then the birds and the sailboat are from the Sailing Home stamp set. And then I cut it with the layering circles. And then Stronger Than You Know. I thought that one looked well together. But I want to point out this too. If you want to give your, your cards some dimension, use um, your scoreboard if you have it or a scoring tool and add some lines in there. I thought, I don't know if you can see that. There, that's better. And this is when they were scored in. You could also turn it over flip your card and show it that way too. But think about adding some other things to give your give your cards a little bit more dimension. And that way I just move this whole thing over. So I like that one a whole lot. And then this is one that is a, um, a sketch design that I've used before. And it's the same, same thing. This was stamped off as well. And then this is stamped off again to give a lighter color and just using the birds, a little bit of gold here, and pieces of designer paper that are two by four. And then this is a piece here that is um, a timeless type, one of our new 3D embossing folders to go back there. So I think this is probably my favorite. I really like that. And then I thought, okay, it is time to probably show some Christmas. So I did that same design 
with the two by four pieces of designer paper and made a Christmas card with um, Evening Evergreen and Crumb Cake, get my words together here, and um, this was from the Tidings of Christmas 6x6 bundle of stamps, or excuse me, uh, designer paper. And then I tore around that heart just to kind of give it that rustic look. Thank you, thank you, Sue. And Nancy, yes, clever. Well, I look around and get ideas elsewhere and then I just make it my own. <laughs> so if that makes sense. So I like that and I thought, you know, if you have a stamp set, let's make it into a Christmas one too. And um, this Warm Wishes also comes from the Best Year stamp set. That's why I pulled that out because it's so versatile. So many things you can do with that. So here is what we have for today. And then Christmas. This one is my favorite. I love having the birds there. And then the birds and the sailboat. A little fun fold card. And one with the stamps right in there. And you could also stamp that right on there too. And added some bling to that. And then this was the original one that I started with. So I hope you enjoyed today. Um, for some reason, I'm just having a little bit trouble getting back into the swing of things, not only with the time change. So I had a time change here and I had a time change from central zone. So I'm basically two hours behind <laughs> instead of one. So um, we'll get it all together and I will be back and see you next week. Um, for probably a Christmas card. It's time to start making some Christmas cards. So have a great rest of the week. Get out there and have fun in the sun while it's still warm because it's going to get cold this weekend, I guess. And um, take advantage of the good weather. So thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And see you next week. Bye-bye.